about the grip that you have here. So this is basic, but often Chinese, in fact before now they, are, they, they play much more pen holder, uh, check hand, you have the pen holder grip, right, with like this, right, always the three fingers behind, but I'm not specialist in that stuff, you, you need to ask the Chinese and Asian players and, and so on. They will explain you much better than I. Just, if we are talking about the shake and grip, in the middle position you have like that, okay? When you take the handle, just between the first finger and the thumb, okay? Now you have some variation with that. You can have slightly move like that. You see, on the right it will be here. It's called more backhand position, backhand grip. Okay, because you will be able, much easier to play backhand like that. Hmm? The problem will come when you need to play forward. Okay, if you are here, it won't be so good. And you have more forward oriented, you know, when you have a little bit place here, like that. Okay, so former player like Mavengi, and when the Chinese in the end of 80 or beginning of 90s, when they used to play like this, uh, Mavengi, Wang Tao, and, and, and so on, they used to come with the technique, with it's the same angle, this pen holder, like that. Problem with that grip is to play back and top spin. That, and the wrist is not so, so loose and, and then you have problems. So, and this kind of players for here, for forehand is much better because you come, mm, I should uh, show this left, when you have this grip, you come really parallel and over the table, it's easier. But for backhand, then got the problem to play topspin. That's usually they play counter, counter hit. Maybe one to open and then counter. So, but for you, when you play single ways, that according to the ball that you will receive on the table and the move you have to make, you will need to move always a little bit slightly to go from the middle position maybe to a little bit more forehand side or more backhand side. Right? Your racket cannot be once and for all. It must be always a little bit loose. Okay? Hope it helps you.